Purple Pandas are expected to be one of the best teams for MCC 23, but I wanted to figure out how they could achieve victory. Let's take a look at the games being played. Sky Battle isn't too great for Purple Pandas, Pizza Hut is quite inconsistent, placing between 4th and 34th place, putting him at an average of 20th. Bilza is very similar, placing between 7th and 39th at an average of 23rd. Smallish Beans luckily has a better average than the first two players, sitting at a comfortable 15th, and G Nelly, having only played one Sky Battle in Season 2, has only ever placed 37th. Realistically, if they wanted to play safe, the team would want to get this game over with quite quickly. But if they wanted to take a risk and they were comfortable with like their team synergy and their communication, they could definitely do well. Pete already has a decent grasp of Meltdown, getting 347 coins from it in MCC 22, placing him at 6th. Smallish Beans collected 271, placing him at 16th, and Ginelli collected 215 at 26th. And Phil is, is yet to play this game. With this being one of G's stronger games, as well as Pete and Smallish being quite good at this so far, they could perform quite well. If the team effectively listens to each other, there's no reason they can't pop off. Parkour Attack is a decent game for the team, with Smallish Beans having an average of 339 coins per game at an average of 8th place. Pete follows quite behind at 11th, and then Phil at 21st, and G at 34th. There's not much to write home about here, but this is a generally consistent game for the group. There are certainly teams who are better at Parkour Attack, so uh, maybe it should be played a bit earlier. To get to the other side in Wakafan relies heavily on the maps that are played. Overall, Pete sits at 7th place on average, always in the top 50% of players. Smallish Beans generally sits around 25th and G sits at an average of 37th. Phil is at 18th, however his placement greatly varies from 1st all the way to 39th. If a Terra Swoop Force map is played, then Phil will likely get a nice boost in coins. And uh, <clears throat> talking about coins, why don't you uh, pound that subscribe button? You see, it's like a, uh, uh, it's it's like a uh, it's like a currency joke. Never mind. Anyway, Survival Games is yet another game mode in which team synergy is incredibly important. Pete, on average, sits at about 16th place, going as high as second in MCC 14 and fourth in MCC 17, showing he has the potential to do incredibly well this event. Phil sits at an average 21st place, placing as high as fourth in MCC 21. Smallish Beans is incredibly similar, also sitting at an average of 21st, although he was first place in MCC 21 and second place in MCC 16. Survival Games is one of G's strongest minigames, placing 19th in MCC 18 and 9th in MCC 21. Survival Games could easily be one of the team's strong points if they can work well together. Although being incredibly uh, infamous, Buildmar is also one of G's strong points, placing 5th in MCC 18. Pete has placed first two times, first in MCC 17 and again in MCC 19. With these two strong players and effective strategy, Purple Pandas could dominate this game, which is especially important considering most players aren't really big fan of it. Phil averages at 22nd place for this game mode and Smallish Beans averages at 16th once again showing the possibility for this team to do really well. For a bit of a change, Ace Race is a mediocre game for the team. Pete averages at an incredibly impressive 6th place, having placed in the top 5 4 times in Season 2. However, G has placed both 40th and 35th. Although it is important to note that she's only played twice, with enough practice she could definitely do well. Phil and Smallish Beans both average at 17th place, consistently sitting around the same placement, making this a very average game for Purple Pandas. With Grid Runners being incredibly team focused, each member of Purple Pandas sits very close to each other in terms of average placements. Pete, Smallish Beans and G all average at 24th place, with Phil placing at 23rd. With Phil and Smallish Beans having placed in the top 10 previously, it's not impossible for this team to do well, but it's certainly a game to try and avoid. Rocket Spleef will be a very, very interesting game for Purple Pandas. The goal should be to try to leave this as close to the end as possible, but the other teams may try to sabotage this, knowing how good of a team this is. In Season 2, Pete has never left the top 5, with an average of 611 coins at 3rd place. Similarly, Filza has an average of 421 coins at 9th place, Smallish Bean sits at a comfortable 10th place, and G sits at 32nd. This was incredibly interesting to look through. Personally, I'm, I'm wondering who's going to be able to beat a team like this? 